one of the challenges with supervised machine learning is having labeled data. We can have data, but it needs to be labeled in order to do supervised machine learning, right? And this labeling process is often manual, uh, meaning it takes a lot of time and it's also laborious, right? So in this video, uh, we'll use the data and we will do, we will create embeddings. From those embeddings, we'll create uh, clusters which is unsupervised method and then use OpenAI's completion method uh, to create some meaningful labels uh, to the data. Okay. All right. So we are still using the same data set. It's fine food reviews uh, with embeddings. Uh, in, in a couple of previous videos, we have created the embeddings, right? So in this data set, we already have the embeddings. Now I'll quickly show you the, how the data looks like, right? Um, so here we have product user ID and uh, this is the user rating, uh, but we are working with uh, the remaining columns, right? So here is the summary of the user review and more detailed review. Then we have combined summary and text to make this new column called combined, okay? And we have already computed the embeddings for this combined column and stored uh, within the same data frame. Now this is just the number of tokens uh, this combined column has, okay? All right. So because this notebook is already ran, we have this cluster, but uh, uh, when we read the data, we would not have uh, this cluster column. All right. Okay, so we read the data and then when we read this data from the file, uh, this column embeddings, it is read as a string, but this supposed to be a list of numbers, right? So here uh, using this eval function, uh, we are converting it back to list of numbers. All right. And then uh, 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 this uh, just, uh, we are converting it to a matrix. So as you can see, this data set has thousand reviews. So we have thousand uh, rows and then each review has a vector of size 1536. So the matrix dimension is thousand by 1536. All right. And then uh, let's do some simple clustering using the k-means algorithm. Now we start with, uh, let's say number of clusters four. Now there are two ways uh, to optimize the number of clusters. Uh, one, the more algorithmic approach is uh, uh, is called this elbow method, where we plot the explained variation on y-axis along with the number of clusters on the x-axis, right? So with the number of clusters increasing, uh, the explained variation also increases, but at some point it level offs, right? So we will check at what number of clusters we are having uh, uh, as much as possible uh, the variation explained. So we'll choose that as the optimum number of clusters. Or once we build the clusters, we can look at the clusters to see if there is enough separation uh, to figure out if that is the right number of clusters. Okay, for this data set, uh, let's go with four clusters. All right. Uh, it's very simple, uh, like any other scikit-learn models. So we'll just uh, instantiate uh, the k-means and then uh, we define this parameter number of clusters four and these you can leave uh, as uh, defaults. So here we are fitting and then uh, we are finding the labels for each uh, record or sample in our data set. And then these labels, we are adding them back to the data frame with this column cluster. So that's what we have seen here. Okay, so we use the embeddings and uh, we have done the clustering and uh, the clusters uh, ID we have added uh, back to the data frame. So this will be either 0, 1, 2 or 3 because we have uh, chosen four uh, clusters. All right, and then now let's quickly visualize uh, how good uh, the separation uh, between these clusters. 
So here we are using one of the dimensionality reduction techniques uh, called uh, TISNI and we instantiate the TISNI algorithm uh, and uh, again you can leave all these as defaults those, those are defaults anyway uh, the required parameter is how many components uh, we want to have we either choose two or three so that we can visualize uh, visualize the reduced data all right we instantiate the algorithm and we fit uh, the data again notice that we are still using only the embeddings right we are not using this core anywhere so we are still working uh, unsupervised now just doing a bit of uh, processing uh, with these uh, projections right so because we have chosen two components uh, this data the 1536 dimensions they get reduced into two dimensions uh, and we are just uh, creating these xy vectors so that we can plot right so this is how uh, the four clusters are now because we know for each record uh, what cluster they belong to so we use that cluster id uh, to color it and we have also found out uh, the average uh, x and y values for each cluster and we have plotted them as crosses here okay so as you can see this green cross this represents uh, the cluster center for these green data points and similarly for this red one now there is some overlap uh, between uh, this blue one and the purple one uh, but um, i mean it's a reasonable separation here right i mean in this region uh, there is some overlap again notice that we have reduced the dimension from 1536 to just two so even within just this two dimension we are able to see the separation reasonably if we are able to visualize maybe four or five dimensions we probably have a much clearer separation so when you reduce the data from such higher dimension to just two dimension we will be using lots and lots of information okay all right um, now comes the interesting point i mean we can do this clustering uh, which we probably have done before uh, but we can use open ai to give meaningful names uh, to these clusters uh, which is what we are going to do next so what we do is uh, from this data from these records we are going to pick randomly five reviews per cluster okay for example here we are going to pick randomly five red points five blue points uh, i mean the corresponding data uh, for purple as well as green now we use we combine those five reviews and we ask openai uh, completion uh, method uh, to give us a description of the cluster okay so what we are doing is so we are going over each cluster and then here are our reviews so we are randomly sampling uh, the reviews for cluster right so we are randomly sampling five clusters uh, from each uh, sorry we are randomly sampling five reviews from each cluster okay we have randomly sampled five and then we again combine the title and the content so basically we have made a one big string using five randomly sampled uh, records from each cluster and then we are using this open ai completion uh, uh, completion function and uh, we carefully design this prompt so that we have a description for the cluster so what we are doing is we are saying what do the following customer reviews have in common okay what do the following customer reviews have in common a uh, question mark and then here we have the customer uh, reviews and we are replacing this review so here we've combined five randomly chosen uh, reviews and we are asking open ai what do the following customer reviews have in common okay and we are providing the reviews so what it does is now don't worry too much about uh, all these are uh, those are defaults anyway so the temperature uh, and max tokens these two are the important ones so the temperature uh, it uh, it's sort sort of how much flexibility we are giving it to the model so if we give the temperature very low value uh, the model uh, return uh, very conservative answers meaning uh, only the ones which it is very confident of okay but 
if we want to do some creative writing or if we want to do some exploration we can increase the temperature and then this max token means the returned answer how many maximum number of tokens it can have right so the description of uh, the cluster can have only maximum 64 tokens and then we want uh, it to return only one answer right i mean we can ask for top uh, 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 n answers all right so we get the response and here we have uh, so we it, it will be a dictionary we pass the dictionary uh, to get the actual uh, cluster uh, description okay so as you can see here first we are printing cluster number and then this theme thing right so cluster zero theme and then we are printing uh, the cluster description uh, by OpenAI right so what it is saying is all of the reviews are positive and the customers are satisfied with the product they purchased okay so these are the five randomly chosen reviews uh, we have also printed uh, the customer uh, rating uh, as we can see except this one uh, the remaining four have rating five okay so this indeed uh suggest that the description given uh is correct right so all of the reviews are positive and the customers are satisfied with the product they purchased so if you look at one of the reviews love the gluten-free health bars uh, saved so and so forth etc right so this looks good and the second cluster here we have and then this says all of the reviews are about pet food okay so um Again, this one is not related to uh, the customer rating, but it's uh, uh, all these reviews are somehow related to uh, pet food, right? So here we have a cat and then also we have a cat and third one can't get enough of it, my illy. So it's not a cat, but it's some some pet, uh, probably a puppy. So it's a, it's, a, it's a dog. And then I switched over from the Buffalo Wilderness to do this. I'm not sure what buffalo wilderness is uh, all right so fifth one is also about cat so the second theme is about uh, the pet food so we can map which one is which so one of this cluster is uh, about uh, positive reviews by the customer and one of the other uh, uh, second cluster is uh, about pet food okay similarly we can see for the third and fourth so the third one it says all the reviews are positive and express satisfaction with the product okay so there is another probably i guess because there is an overlap between these two uh, probably this is the first cluster and this is the third cluster both are positive reviews and also the customers are satisfied okay all the customers are satisfied with the product they purchased all the, the positive and the customers are product yeah so here as we can see all the reviews have a rating of either four or most of them have a rating of five all right and then uh, the final cluster all of the reviews are about food and drink products okay uh, if we go through the description we can see here this soda pop and then uh, so convenient uh, vanilla beans so as you can see these are about uh, either food or drink products so we have created the embeddings using the embeddings uh, we have done the clustering and then using openai we are able to give a description to each of these clusters now if we want we can do more with this openai right so we are running exactly the same code but here uh, I have slightly modified the prompt to say please answer in just two words okay so earlier we asked for a description of uh, of uh, the reviews in each cluster now we are asking it to answer with just two words maximum okay so let's see what it says okay the first theme is positive uh, which is in line with what we saw here which is in line with what we saw here and for the second cluster it said it all of them are about pet food let's see what it says when we ask for it in one word so it says cat uh, that's also apt uh, uh, description or the label 
and then the next one uh, it's coffee and the final one uh, about taste now we should keep in mind that these clusters are the cluster descriptions or the labels uh, do not necessarily match with what we uh, intend to use right for example we might want to uh, we might want to uh, train a model uh, to predict uh, the scores but when we do the clustering it's not necessary that all the good reviews goes to one cluster and all the bad reviews goes to one cluster it doesn't work that way right it's unsupervised uh, algorithm unsupervised uh, 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 learning right so we don't have any idea of the scores here so we are only going by uh, the summary and text and we are grouping these records into different clusters right so as we have seen here instead of this uh, 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 highly positive positive negative highly negative the grouping is done based on for example one of the group happened to talk about the taste of the products the other one uh, happened to talk about the coffee and the third group is happened to be about cats and the fourth one uh, it's in general uh, the positive reviews okay so we can label this unlabeled data using unsupervised algorithms uh, uh, like clustering and then using some language models like open ai uh, but keep in mind that uh, the labels might not necessarily uh, what we wanted okay but at least uh, we can uh, start uh, 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 we can start uh, and have a first cut at this automated uh, labeling instead of uh, labeling all the data uh, manually um that's all for this video uh thank you very much